Welcome to r slash nice guys versus r slash nice girls, where you get to decide which one is creepier. First, let's start off with r slash nice guys. On this next post, the nice guy reached out to a girl on Snapchat asking her to cheat on her boyfriend, so she blocked him. Then he replies with this, Did you get my Snapchat? I tried to be nice, but clearly you're not taking the hint. I'm done talking to you. I'm not interested, so don't text me again. Okay, can I ask a question, please? Nope. Please, I'm upset and just want to ask you something. I'd appreciate your advice. Ask, I can't guarantee I'll answer it. What would you advise when getting a girlfriend? I really wanted to meet you and I wish I knew what I did wrong. Everyone tells me I'm too nice and it's a turn off to them. You lost the right to have that answer. I told you no over Snapchat and you just kept pushing me. Hell, you even pushed me to meet you when I told you I have a boyfriend. And when you come here and text me to ask me? Figure out what the problem is. Please, Blank, I'd appreciate your input. I've just been really sad and down for a while. Figure it out. So apparently, this guy's version of a nice guy is convincing a girl to cheat on her boyfriend and refusing to accept no for an answer. A couple of days ago, I tried to shoot my shot with a girl on Blink and slid into her DMs. Everything seemed to be going well. We clicked and were having good convos. She seemed to be interested in me, too. Snippet of our conversations in the pic below. We organized a lunch date on the 14th of February, so Valentine's. It was clear we'd be each other's Valentine's, right? Valentine's Day came around and we went out on our date today. I thought I'd surprise her with a bouquet of roses, two dozen to be more specific, and a couple of small gifts. Needless to say, I spent at least $250 on our first date. Fast forward when I was waiting for her with a bunch of things in my arm. She turned up and didn't quite look like her photos, but that's okay, I still had a date. She looked a tad uncomfortable with the things I got her and the date was quite awkward. I don't know if it was because of the differences between how we were in real life and online or if I went overboard with the gifts. I honestly thought she'd enjoy the things I got her. The date ended on a quick note. She took the gifts and bolted without us getting together. You know stuff went wrong when she doesn't want to get together. So here I am, home after the so-called date, and I have yet to receive a message from her. No, thanks for the date, or that was nice, we should go out again sometime. Should I take this as she rejected and ghosted me, or should I try and hit her up some more? Then an admin replies, I don't think your screenshot is a sign of we clicked and we're having good conversations. Let's take a look at those conversations, shall we? Hey, uh, how was your day? It was I. What you do? Just drive around. Ah, nice. Getting those hours up, I see. What you doing now? Watching a drama with a good guy mate. Wow, mad in. Can I join or what? Um... <laughs> so apparently this guy considers that conversation to be sexual chemistry. And then the girl replies. Dude, did our entire conversation fly over your head or what? I made it clear it wasn't a date before it actually happened. It wasn't my intention to even run off with that junk you got me. I just got, date me because I'm nice and have money vibes off you. As if I was going to stay for another minute. I'm giving the roses and jewelry back to you. I don't want it. And then she posts a screenshot of the conversation. So I can get you roses and some other things. Hey man, I've made it clear, just because we're going out for lunch on V-Day doesn't mean it's a date. I'm telling you now. Nah, it's fine. Then OP replies, I did so much for you and I don't even have a chance. You won't get a chance with other guys looking like your catfish self. You're lucky I even considered you. You know what? I'm glad you buggered off. Probably effing that good guy mate of yours. He can keep your stanky self. Then the admin replies, Yikes, I had to correct your grammar. Take an effing hint, man. Let's recap. You straight up asked her if you could get her roses, and she said no. So then you got her roses, in addition to other stuff. And then when she peaced out, you publicly shamed her for rejecting you? Dude, that's a yikes for me. Hey, beautiful. 
May God ignore you like you ignored my greetings. <laughs> wow, that took a right-hand turn really quickly. Hey, it's Blank from POF. Thanks for the number, kisses. You're a stunner. So, what are you up to? Hey, thanks, lol. I'm at work right now. I'll text you when I'm off. Sounds good, beautiful. You should head to my place when you're off. We can have some fun. Your lips are just, mmm. I bet you do amazing things with that mouth. Where do you work? I can meet you there. So, is that a no? Hello? Remember like two seconds ago when I said I was at work and I text you when I'm off? I'm still at work. Please stop blowing up my phone. I don't think I'm interested in meeting up with you anymore. Have a good night. What the F? Why? Because I texted you? You gave me your effing number and I just wanted to be nice and tell you you're beautiful and show my interest in you. Guess that's what the F I get for being a nice guy, right? So what, you're just not going to answer now? Effing jerk, you're lost. Guessing you're one of those chicks who likes douchebags, aren't you? What the F ever, you're lost. Reading this guy's text was like watching a guy fall down a flight of stairs. What's your favorite heavy metal to listen to while knitting? I don't listen to music while I knit. I'm usually watching TV or listening to a book. Yeah, it was my attempt at being clever, but your soul is dead and you can't detect a genuinely constructed comment unless it comes in your p and walks out the door. You asked me a question about what I listened to while knitting and I answered. If you wanted to know what bands I liked, you should have asked differently. And because I didn't answer the way you wanted, you think you can insult me and hurt my feelings then feel like a big man you desperately want to be. Next time, how about acting like a human instead of flying off the handle? Yeah, I'm not sure what kind of response this guy expected. Who would listen to heavy metal while knitting? Headbanging while knitting seems like a great way to lose an eye. Yo, how do I steal a girl I like from a guy? Some context. The guy is a stranger who I don't know or care about. He seems like a dick. He's definitely using her. I saw the girl first. I've also known her longer, which means he technically stole her from me. Any advice is greatly appreciated. Uh, does this guy think that the world of dating literally works on the dib system? Like, oh, this girl's mine. I claim her. I saw her first. Mine, all mine. She's mine. Not yours. I get her. She's mine. My property. All mine. Actually, I just want to say you're so pretty. I actually had a huge crush on you in freshman year. Oh, thank you, but I just want to be honest and say that I'm not ready for a relationship. Oh, but I'll treat you well, winky face. If you want, we can take it slow and just hang out and be friends. Fine, F you, grunt. I was just trying to be nice. Don't have to ignore me like that. Huh? I took a shower and was cooking. It's only been like 40 minutes, lol. Piece of sh**. And this guy thinks he treats women well? Sure thing, buddy. That was r slash nice guys, and now let's move into r slash nice girls. Hey, I'm sure you get a lot of messages on here from girls who are only interested in intercourse, but I'm not like that. If you like, I'm free this weekend to get coffee and just talk. Smiley face. I'd love to get to know you, XX. Oh, I'm flattered, but I'm gay, so I'm not interested in meeting up with any girls. Sorry. That's unfortunate. Are you sure about that? You seem like such a great guy, and I'm sick of being treated so badly by F-boys, LMAO. I'm 100% sure that I like men. I'm sorry you've had bad luck with men, but you're not going to find what you want with me. I mean, you won't just meet up once. I'm a good person, and I'm sure we'd have a great conversation if you gave me one chance. Look, I'm a gay man. I bang men, and I'm not attracted to women, so I don't see the point. I'm sure you'll find a guy who's interested. It just isn't me. No need to be rude. Your sexuality could always change if you were more open-minded, but I guess you're not. One, I like being gay. Two, if this were the other way around and I was a straight guy trying to convince a lesbian that she hasn't been with the right guy yet, I'd be considered creepy. So why is it okay for you to do the same to gay men? You know what? I think I can do better than you anyways. F off back to China. You're just like all the other men. Disrespectful. I bet you only work out so much to make up for your small dong. LMAO. Bye. Lol. Okay. <laughs> I love the insult in the end like, oh no, 
A woman has rejected me, a gay man. Now I need to go cry into a pillow. Yes, I cheated on blank. Did he deserve that? Absolutely not. Yes, it was wrong. But at the end of the day, it was my fault to get into another relationship. That was my fault. Like, I really should have just rejected him and been like, nah, I'm good. But what happened is done. That's that. There's really no effing need at all to drag this stuff out. He should have also known not to get too attached to me, cause at the end of the day, I'm gonna do what I wanna do, how I wanna do, and when I wanna do it. We should have stayed away from each other to be honest, but what's done is done. Can't do anything about it now. Lady, did you really just say it's his fault for getting attached? That's how relationships work. Do you know where my friends could grab coke? Sorry, I don't. Aw, oh, I thought you would. How are you doing? I need cocaine. Been seeing a guy for a year now. His name's David. He's 30 and has a son and a car and a job. And he's awesome. He never complains when I flip out at him. Lol, so perfect. You dare ignore me, you fat loser. LMAO, you're a fat, ugly loser. Lol. You think you're too good for me? Joke. F you, fatty. <laughs> LMAO, you should probably lay off the coke. You should lay off the chips. Gaha ga 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 ga. I've onky done coke three times. Doesn't matter what drugs you do when you're born, psycho. Wahahaha ba ga ga ga. Winona Earp, that's what I'm watching. Not like you care, you woo bastard. <laughs> this girl laughs like Mr. Krabs. Hey, I just wanted to talk about yesterday. Hey, go on. I'm a bit busy right now, so just write it out and I'll read it and respond later, alright? If you say so. So, I just want to understand. We go out, have dinner, have a nice walk. We talk, and we obviously liked each other. I invite you over to me and you come along. We talk more, we drink more, and I'm getting nice and drunk. Everything good so far, yes. I'm more drunk than you, and I make it clear I want intercourse, but you wouldn't bang me because I want you to be sober when we have intercourse. The F is wrong with you. I bet if I wasn't such a nice person, you wouldn't have waited a minute to stick your dong in my vajongo and bang me. Why does nobody ever want to bang? And even worse, I already prepared myself for it. I shaved my vajongo and even my effing butt to be nice and clean. <laughs> I shaved my legs, I even pushed an effing plug up my butt to be ready for intercourse, but oh no, drunk sex is not cool anymore. Duh, what an idiot I am, right? Am I that ugly to you? Did my vajango stink all the way up that you got so disgusted with me? You didn't even try to accidentally touch my breast or butt while we were walking. WTF! Vanessa told me you're a cool dude. Let me guess. Vanessa's a good lay, right? I bet Vanessa got her brains effed out. If I were blonde and effing beautiful as she, you would have immediately licked my vajango and don't even try to deny it. Sluts always get you guys and we never get anything. I hate you and wasted my effing day and got nothing. Okay. <laughs> Dude, you didn't just dodge a bullet. You dodged an 18-wheeler carrying crates and crates of bullets. If a real guy wants to talk to me, then he will. But not the other way around? No, because I'm not desperate. I'll message a guy first after I see he puts in some effort. Lol, I'm not out here chasing guys. I want a man who can get the balls to talk to me. Simple as that. Clearly you can't. Excuse me? You're trying to tell me that I have to chase after you and that's not happening. I'm not the man. Or perhaps I hold myself at a higher level of respect than to chase someone with an obvious sense of entitlement, who definitely doesn't deserve me and all I bring to the table. I tried, and you seem nice on the outside, but I'm going to cut it off here. Have a good life. When a man is dealing with two women, he'll always stay with the one who has a weak mind. The weak-minded one will think she's won because she's with him, but the whole time he's wishing he was with the strong woman. But he's too scared to be with the strong woman because he's a weak tool. Ugh, man, this grape is sour. 
I've realized with the help of Blank's TikTok that dudes are one out of nine times gonna go for the basic girl. Even if you're prettier than her or like have a better personality and they do this purely based on the fact that it's simple basic girls are just like every other girl. So it's not like they can hurt you, no, but you can hurt them emotionally. And what I say to this is, how do you know who the basic girls are and that you're not one of them? Life is simply full of mysteries, and if you read this, you're dumb because, to be honest, I'm kind of wasting your time here, but like if you read... OP, I can answer that question for you. If you write posts like this seriously, then you're a basic girl. On this next post, OP's delivery girl thought he was hot, so she texted the number after delivering the food. He was gonna smash until this happened. Lol, well, I can't say the same. Everyone has their flaws, and I'm sure my ex is talking garbage on my name. I know my ex-fiancé is definitely throwing shade on my name, but I'll give him a pass because of what I did. Lol, what did you do? My ex and I got into a big fight after I moved to Lakeland back in May for a bit, so I was like, F you. I'm gonna find someone better, and we broke up, so I went on Tinder, banged some dude, and got engaged to this random dude to piss off my ex. And then, admitted after like a month, I didn't have feelings for this kid, so yeah. Crying while laughing emojis. Lol, I see. Like, I really got engaged to this kid, met his family and everything, and didn't even love him. My pettiness will go to extreme measures at times, I ain't even gonna lie. This lady isn't just a red flag, she's a red flag factory. That was r slash nice guys versus r slash nice girls, and let me know down in the comments which one you thought was cringier.